what is going on YouTube? My name is Casey Kelly and today we are trusting the bull. An entire series of me showing you what I will be doing on my lean bulk. I took you all through my entire show prep and now it's time for me to take you through my entire bulk. Welcome to episode number one. My plan with this Trust the Bulk series is to inspire y'all and show y'all the other side of making progress in the gym. It's not only about losing fat and getting shredded, it's about building muscle and making real long-term progress that a lot of people don't like to show on social media because you might get a little fluffy. Not me. I'm going to show you guys the full inside scoop of everything. We've actually been bulking for two months now and it's going amazingly. I'm going to tell you more about how I'm feeling later on in the video, but first, I owe y'all a little physique update. It is Thursday, August 24th, and I woke up at 175 pounds this morning. That is 13 pounds above my lowest weigh-in on prep. In about four months, we're sitting at a perfect rate of gain. I wanna be gaining about one pound a week, maybe a little bit less to make sure we're keeping it tight and make sure we're keeping it lean. But here is what I'm looking like at 175 pounds this morning. I'm feeling fantastic on this bulk. But again, I'm gonna talk more about that way later on in the video and why y'all should trust the bulk as well. But first, I gotta go downstairs and eat my pre-workout meal because I am very hungry and we gotta go train soon. We are now downstairs. If you were curious what I take for my morning supplements, it's just general health supplements. We got magnesium, vitamin D, a multivitamin, some fish oils, and some probiotics. Around five to 10 grams of regular creatine every morning. Just basic stuff to make sure I'm functioning to the best of my ability. Obviously also some pre-workout and some protein in there. You don't need a bunch of supplements to put on quality muscle. They do just help just a little bit. Let's get in to this pre-workout meal because I am absolutely starving. If you have been following me for any amount of time, you know what this meal is, our pre-workout meal and our first meal of the day. Absolutely delicious. It's cream of rice. It's easy to get the calories in and it gives you an incredible pump in the gym. And the cream of rice is made with rice, blueberry muffin protein. It tastes like a blueberry muffin in the morning, except it's protein and carbs and it's perfect before your workout. I have a dash of almond butter in there just for some healthy fats and to slow the digestion down just a little bit and a little bit of oats in there as well to do the same thing. I'm gonna go crush this meal and then we're gonna go get into our workout. So make sure you're sticking around for the entire video for that. It's not gonna be a full day of eating, but if you guys wanna see a full day of eating in the next video, make sure you comment and let me know that you wanna see that because I will film a full day of eating for y'all, macros, calories and all, but I'm gonna go crush this and then we're gonna go get into our workout. We have now made it to the gym. As I sit here sipping on my pre-workout, I wanna to talk to y'all just a little bit about what my plans are with this series. I really wanna show y'all exactly what I'm doing on my bulk so that y'all can make long-term progress because it's part of the process and you just have to do it. It's something that you have to do if you wanna put on quality muscle. So I really wanna show y'all how to trust the bulk. And you may be asking, Casey, what do you mean by trust the bulk? And what I mean is trust the process long enough to actually reap the benefits. A lot of people go into a bulk either too fast and just do a dirty bulk and just eat whatever they want, which is not what we're doing. We're doing a nice, lean, slow bulk and we're being patient. Or people start bulking 
and then they pull back because they see themselves getting a little bit of fat. What I mean by trust the bulk is trust the process long enough to get over that little hump, that little weird in-between phase where you're not super shredded, but you're also not putting on a lot of muscle. Trust the bulk long enough to reap the benefits of it, to get stronger, to have better workout, to put on that quality, quality muscle that you want. I'm doing a nice lean bulk. It's going to be about a pound a week. It's taking it slow, taking it meticulous, tracking your calories, doing everything that you were doing on a cut, now just with higher food quantities. Just to make sure you know exactly what you should be doing as well so that you can make the best progress you can. I'm going to tell y'all how I've been feeling after my workout, but I want to go in there and absolutely crush a chest and arms workout. So I will catch y'all in the gym when we are pumping some heavy, heavy iron because we are getting so much stronger, baby. I'll catch you there. Starting up over here with five minutes on the treadmill just to warm up and get the blood flowing. And yes, I still think you should be doing a little bit of cardio on your bulk to make sure that you're keeping your heart healthy and the rest of your body healthy. Cardiovascular health is extremely important and it's not something that you should neglect just because you're trying to gain some weight. So we're doing a little bit of cardio here. Then we're gonna go get into our workout. This is just good to get the blood flowing, get your body temperature up, and it'll also give us a better pump if our heart rate is up. It's time to get strong. This is an all-time PR. We're now done with chest. We have absolutely cooked our chest today. We are working extremely hard because I wanna grow my chest. And now that we're bulking, we can grow my chest. I'm going to get absolutely massive milkers this bulk. We're just gonna grow all around. We're gonna grow. I'm gonna be better than you've ever seen me. And that's what's exciting about bulking. Let's move on to some biceps so that we can get an absolutely massive arm pump as well. You know we're growing when I get off of the machine and Owen goes, this is how you're walking. It's like, looks like he's straight he out of Roblox. You know, Casey I'm Kelly's wide. coming. It's coming a little bit bigger, a little bit better this year. You know what? I'm a little worried he's not going to be able to fit through any doors. feeling absolutely fantastic today. I actually just got word from my buddy Owen that we just talked to. Looks like we're going to the driving range later. You're gonna finally get to see me golf. I was a former baseball player. He actually played here at UNC Chapel Hill. So after the workout, we're gonna have some fun. If you wanna see that, make sure you're sticking around. The bicep workout is done now. We're on to triceps and we are getting after it today. So if you wanna see us golf, make sure you're sticking around. And of course, it's always fun over here. So why are you not sticking around anyway? If you've made it up until this point of the video, I'm at pump because we are pumping it up.
feeling so good on this bulk. Let's go talk more about that in the car. Let me just tell y'all, that was an absolutely incredible workout and I wanna hit on that a little bit more. When I was on bodybuilding prep, every single workout was a struggle. I didn't feel good. I didn't get good pumps. Now that I have extra calories in me, the workouts have been incredible. The pumps have been incredible. Sleep is better. I'm sleeping so consistently. Literally everything feels better. Obviously we're not shredded, but that's literally the only downside. You guys have to realize that looking cool is awesome, but you also need to take time to A, be healthy, and B, to put on some size and just enjoy the process while you're doing it. There's no reason to cut for four or five months out of the year and then not like your body the rest of the seven or eight months out of the year. Look at progress pictures and be like, wow, I look so much bigger than I did before. And how I always think about it is my bodybuilding prep was 12 weeks. I am 12 weeks away from being as shredded as I'd like, even from peak bulk. So it really doesn't bother me to put on a little bit of extra fat. You feeling good and getting good workouts is a super, super important factor of longevity and actually continuing to bodybuild and continuing to improve your physique. It's a time to enjoy yourself, but it's also a time to work hard. We're having a fantastic day. It's a great day to be alive. You wanna know why? Because you woke up because you're watching this video and because God loves you, man. But I will catch y'all at the post-workout meal. Post-workout meal is looking absolutely delectable and it is as follows. 93.7, grass-fed, grass-finished, lean ground beef, some broccoli, some white rice, and some sugar-free Polynesian sauce in there as well. And you may be saying, wow, that looks a lot like what you were eating on prep. And that is exactly what you should be doing with your bulk. You wanna be eating the same high, high quality foods, just in larger quantities and higher calorie. You have to think of your body as a supercar. You're not gonna put standard fuel into a Ferrari. You're gonna put the premium grade fuel in so that you get the most out of it. The exact same thing with your body. You still want high quality ingredients. You wanna be keeping it clean and you want to be putting in high quality ingredients so that you have high quality output. I'm going to enjoy this very thoroughly. Then I'm going to go shower because your boy's stinking a little bit. We're now all showered up, cleaned up, looking nice. Black, off-white favor maxes. We got the young LA shorts. We got the young LA shirt. We got the black helix. We are going to hit some golf balls. Enjoy this beautiful end of August weather that we're having. But I'm going to catch y'all at the driving range when I'm hitting some golf balls. And y'all know, as DJ Collard says, let's go golfing. So well. Look for some other options. Not everything always goes according to plan, but we're gonna try to find something else to do entertaining tonight. I will catch y'all when I figure something out. Figured I'd get a car wash so that this baby gets all nice and clean. Anyway, I got a membership at the car wash place, so I get one about every day because I can't and because it's $20 a month. This is my 2004 Chevy Colorado that is all nice and cleaned up. I've had this thing for about four years now. My dad got it new in 2004. It's got a few different things on it. Got the American flag here. It's got the American flag down there. It's got some rims, it's got some tires, it's got a leveling kit, everything I need. And she's still kicking after like 220,000 miles. I'm keeping her as long as I can. I figured I'd give you a little update on what car I have because maybe some of y'all interested in cars. She has been fantastic to me, even though she's broken a couple times. Eating yet another meal here. I'm actually kind of full right now but I'm gonna get these calories in. Right here we have some grilled chicken, we have some sourdough toast with some grass-fed butter, a couple of homemade pickles. I'm gonna crush this, and then we're gonna see if we're actually gonna do anything later tonight, but I'm sure we'll be doing something fun. And by a random turn of events, it looks like we are going all the way to Raleigh to go play some basketball with my twin brother and his roommates. While I'm on the way, I'll be snacking on some more almonds to get some extra calories in today. I'm actually low-key a hooper, so yeah, I'll catch you guys there. This first try. If I make this three-pointer, y'all gotta subscribe. I told you I was a baller, right? I told you I was a baller. We're gonna go curry range. Curry range. If I make this, y'all gotta sub to the channel right now. Bang! Bang! All right, we're gonna go hoop now, play some games. I will catch y'all after the hooping. Man down. Man down. Can't even make it to the first game. Bro, going, going for the ball out of bounds, and of course there's a drop off. Yeah. Ankle pops, so. We'll be all right though. 
hopefully. We will live another day to finish this game and win. Finish the game, but now we're sitting out here taking a little breather. My ankle actually really hurts, and so does my hand. I don't know if you can tell. I hope I'm not done for the night, but my ankle hurts. And we got legs to grow, so I don't want to get actually hurt. Dylan and I are finishing up here over on the court. We actually met a couple of fans that I knew who I was while we were playing. We actually hooped pretty well today, huh? We had a good time. I was actually hooping. My ankle hurts a little bit, but I was able to recover. I'm limping a little bit. It's always a good time if you guys seeing like Mr. Hooping, Dylan. Man. Cardio in the bulk is not detrimental. It's good for your heart health, but you don't want to be doing too much because then you're getting in the way of the gains. But anyway, I'm about to head out of here. Dylan, any last words? Don't say anything weird. Uh, I will see you guys the next time I see this man right here. I am leaving Dylan's place now. I had an absolutely fantastic day today. I taught y'all a little bit about how I'm bulking and how I think y'all should be bulking as well. I don't say this enough, but I appreciate your guys' support and thank you for watching till the end of the video. It really means a lot to me and helps me out more than you know. If you want to like it, comment and subscribe to help me out. That would mean the world to me. I'm going to go crush another meal. I got a lot of calories left, but I will catch y'all in the next YouTube video, remember to trust the bulk. Peace.